Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Dave, this is Mind Keys, and uh, I'm a coach and hypnotherapist. I help people with their personal awakening process, I help people transform their lives, and uh, tap into the best inside of themselves. So uh, on this channel, we tend to talk a lot about things like spirituality, things like psychedelics, things like personal growth, personal transformation, uh, and look at all of these things from various different lenses and point of view, trying to be as practical and realistic about it as possible. So for today's transmission, I, I want to try and get this down for you here. I've been <laughs> trying to shoot this video for the last two hours and just not quite hitting it. My goal is to get this to you in under six minutes, but we'll see how well I do, but I'm going to try and get to the point this time around. So uh, the reason I'm shooting this video is that I woke up not feeling my best. And that is, you know, a normal part of life. That's something we all deal with, it's something we all struggle with. And I think for those of you that are kind of interested or exposed to personal development, personal growth, it can seem sometimes like this very Pollyanna-ish thing, especially the spiritual aspects of it or the spiritual side of it, like we should always be in some perfect high vibrational state or like, uh, we should never feel bad or like, uh, you know, it's wrong and that kind of a thing. And I want to just say to you that, you know, that's ridiculous that of course we're going to feel bad. We, we might even feel bad more often than we feel good in our lives if we're being honest with ourselves. And that can be feeling bad mentally. I could be feeling bad emotionally. I could be feeling bad physically. That could be feeling bad on all kinds of different ways and aspects and levels. Uh, but the point is that this is a part of life. And this is exactly why personal development is important because you need a set of tools to be able to deal with life and lift yourself back up when you're not feeling great. So my question to you, number one, is do you have a set of tools? Like, and if you do, what are they? What works for you? What do you like that you find um, is effective in terms of helping you kind of lift yourself up when you aren't feeling your best? Uh, I wanted to communicate a couple quick points to you and just share with you a bit about, you know, my own experience and, and kind of lay out a couple things here because I, I think there's a lot of shame around being lazy. I think there's a lot of shame around feeling bad. And I, I wanna kind of clear that up and help you understand yourself a bit better and what it means to be a human being. So basically, we have something in nature called the law of entropy. Now, what is entropy? You might be familiar with the idea, but if you're not, Entropy is basically the idea that all things over time in nature degrade, right? So everything is impermanent would be what the Buddhists would say. But another way of understanding that would be if you shot an arrow through space over time here on Earth, that arrow would be pulled down by gravity, right? Or if you look at anything in your life, it degrades, um, especially if you don't take you know, proactive effort to maintain it. So anything physical you own, your belongings, they all fall apart as you use them, right? This is also true with our mind and our emotions and our spiritual connection. If we're not doing what we need to to maintain, uh, entropy will set in. And it is the, the basic law and nature of, of being a human being that we will want to kind of fall to a lower level of being. We will want to fall to a more degraded way of being, a more basic level of being, a lazier, a more indulgent, a weaker, a more tired, a more exhausted, a more whatever, uh, out of control version of ourselves. And this is, you know, something again that people feel shame for a lot, especially if you're into, you know, if you're in the spiritual world or if you're into personal development, personal growth, and you feel like you should always be just firing on all cylinders, this can be a source of shame for people. And so my point number one here is that I want you to understand as a human being, the way we're built, I don't know if you know this, uh, the way we developed in nature, our brain burns 30% of all the calories can, we consume which is an insane amount of calories. So our brain, which is our evolutionary advantage, it's the thing we have. We don't have claws, we don't have teeth, we can't run 70 miles an hour, but we do have a brain that's incredibly uh, adaptive and incredibly sharp and incredibly capable of recognizing patterns in nature and thinking ahead of time and figuring things out, right? So the cost for the, having that gift is that uh, it's calorically expensive and everything in nature is efficient, it doesn't want to you know, burn unnecessarily. So what does this mean for you and I? What this means is that we are going to, left our own devices, tend towards wanting to be lazy. What laziness is, is really just caloric efficiency. And so, uh, 
you need to understand this about yourself. Don't feel ashamed. Don't feel bad about feeling like, you know, low energy or feeling like your brain is switched off. It just means that your body is trying to conserve energy. So again, that's just entropy. That's what will happen, you know, if we don't do anything to intervene with ourselves and just leave ourselves to our own natural accord, we will become tired. We will become lazy. We will become weak. We will become uh, as basic as possible, right? Uh, so there's no reason to have shame in that. It's just understand that that's the tendency. So we have to continually put in some sort of effort in order to maintain a higher level of capacity, a higher level of function, and keep stretching our higher end of what we're capable of and leaning into that, right? Um, let me see. So a couple other points here that I want to make. So we just talked about entropy. We just talked about how that kind of is a natural phenomenon. The other aspect, though, is that life puts pressure on us. Life will stress you out. Life will, you know, whether it is um, internal pressure, you know, in, in terms of, uh, you know, issues, whether it is relationship pressure, you know, some sort of struggle with somebody around you, whether it is situational pressure in terms of finances or employment or, um, you know, legal battles or any kind of shit like that, whether it is pressure in terms of, uh, any sort of situational structural thing in your life it is part of life that life will put pressure on us and always has right so when that's happening the question is do you have some sort of resource do you have some sort of a way to put pressure back from the inside that gives you strength so that you don't buckle when life puts pressure on you and uh this is again why personal development is so important because it gives you a set of tools and a set of ways of responding to life so that you don't fold, so that you have internal robustness, so that you have that internal power enough to be able to push back so that you are at least functional and at least some sort of you know, degree of equilibrium when life puts the pressure on you because it always does and it always will, right? So that's really what I want to say today is that it's okay if you're dealing with pressure in life and it's okay if you aren't firing on all cylinders and you, you aren't at your best but the question is do you have some way of bolstering yourself and strengthening yourself so that when that happens you're able to rise to the challenge and at least um, strengthen yourself enough to deal you know so that you don't buckle and fall into coping mechanisms and you know bad diet and bad lifestyle choices that tend to further worsen the pressure on you, right? So um, I just want to kind of wrap here, kind of end on talking a bit about my own experience with this. So one of the reasons I'm developing the members library I'm developing and leaning into this work, one of the reasons I love self-hypnosis is that it's fast and it's efficient for tapping into the best parts of yourself, shifting out of overwhelm, coming back to center, feeling clear, feeling strong, feeling healthy, feeling happy, feeling access to what you need to feel when you need to feel it. Uh, my personal experience is that, you know, I love, you know, all the, all the classics. I love yoga. I love meditation. I love good diet. I love good exercise. And I do all these things, and I suggest that you do too. I'm all about it. But the question is, you know, how much time do you have in a day? And what happens when you need to get cracking and you need to meet the challenges of life and you don't have the time to put in on all that stuff, right? Uh, from a lot of my clients, people I talk to, it becomes this funny thing where uh, you can spend two, three hours in the morning just dealing with, you know, trying to get yourself back to center. And if that's you every day, you know, how can you do it more quickly? How can you speed up that process so that you are not necessarily always having, you know, what if you don't have two hours to burn? What if you don't have three hours to burn? What do you do then, right? And so uh, that's why I'm developing what I'm developing. They're, these are fast interventions, especially when you get good at them. Uh, they are quick ways to have that robustness internally, to be able to deal with the pressure of life and meet it and become empowered and to stay empowered and to be able to maintain and fight entropy, you know, maintain your self and even expand yourself, even push your ability and your capability and your personal power over time so that life isn't just causing you to buckle and you aren't just allowing yourself to slowly degrade over time. So 
I'm all about it. I'm passionate about it. And I'm so grateful that I have it because on days like today where I woke up not feeling great, not feeling, you know, mentally very sharp, feeling, you know, cloudy, feeling kind of down emotionally, just feeling drained and exhausted. I'm so grateful that I have those tools. And, uh, and that's what I want to, you know, share with you. That's what I'm trying to impart to you here. So, uh, let me know, what are you already working with? What do you already have that, that you're working with and what works for you reliably? And then, you know, is it quick? Is it something that you can do in a reasonable amount of time that will get you really significant change that's going to help you stay empowered in the moments that matter? Um, I'd really like to know. I'd love to know what it is that works for you. And, you know, I just want to put out there, I, I've built this members library. I'm adding to it constantly. It's going to be growing and growing and growing. It's $30 a month. It's a dollar a day. And in it, you're going to have free courses. You're going to have, you know, uh, change work, you know, basically free coaching sessions on all these various different topics. So whether it's anxiety, social anxiety, depression, um, all kinds of stuff like that. I'm gonna have pre-made sessions for you that you can just follow along, just do what I'm teaching you to do, and you'll get the change. And not only that, you'll learn how to self-administer your own change work. So you're learning how to coach yourself so that you don't have to be financially reliant on a therapist or coach for your, the entirety of your life. Um, it's something I'm super passionate about. I, it's kick-ass, it's gonna be amazing. And uh, it's something that if you feel like you could use, if you feel like you could need, I strongly encourage you to sign up. It's only $30 a month. And uh, it's free courses. It's free self, you know, self-coaching sessions. I'm going to constantly be adding to it every week. And um, yeah, so let me see. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. So part of the reason I'm making this video is that I wanted to also tell you about another series I'm putting on the member site here. And... So this video is talking about how to be resourceful when life is challenging, when life is stressful. Well, in my experience, part of that isn't just clearing out the negative traumas and the stresses and releasing the, the kind of you know, pain body part, but it's also about strengthening and stretching and developing out your capacity to touch the positive parts in yourself. So whether, you know, positive emotions, positive attitudes, positive mind states, uh, spiritual connection, any of that kind of stuff is super key to cultivate and become better at and become stronger at and become really good, make it easy for you to be able to tap into those ways of being for yourself, right? So one of the other things I'm doing in the member site, I've already got the first one up here, is what I'm calling hypnotic meditations. And a hypnotic meditation is basically some sort of a hybrid between hypnosis and meditation. So in a classic meditation, what we're doing is we are just kind of sitting and emptying ourselves out to just detach from any attachment to any particular emotional state or thought or resonance and come back to just a complete center, right? Now in classic hypnosis, what we're doing is we are changing something about you. We are taking you at a beginning and we're identifying what we want to move you towards and we're helping you shift from one state to another, right? So what happens if you have something in between the two? That's kind of the question that I started to play with. And I came up with these hypnotic meditations, which are basically kind of a deep immersion in a positive mental, emotional state that is kind of a universal or an empowering state of being that is healthy and good for you to touch base and be in access with. But for some reason, for some time, it, it can be difficult to access these states. Now there's a psychological mechanism behind that called negativity bias. Part of the way we're wired, just like entropy, is that we're also wired to focus more mentally on the negative over the positive. We tend to give more attention more quickly, more easily to negative experiences, negative emotions, negative perceptions, all of that. It's just human nature, right? And it's unfortunate, but it's how we're wired and it makes sense because, you know, in nature, if you're just running around and there's a threat, you don't want to just be focusing on the positive. You want to be alert to the threat so you can avoid it, right? So survival is always you know, the name of the game in nature, right? So uh, because that's the case, it's harder for us to access positive mind states, right? This is why psychedelics are part of why they're so profound is that they help us access these accent, excuse me, access these positive mind states so easily. But 
Wouldn't it be nice to be able to access these kinds of positive mind states without having to take a psychedelic, or without having to be high for hours on end, or without um, you know, having to even spend an hour to do it, you know, or even 20 minutes to do it in a meditation, but instead you get to just drop right in real quick, real deep, into whatever positive mind state you need to. And by doing this more regularly, it becomes easier and easier, more available in you. You know, so this is something I'm developing out right now. They're called hypnotic meditations and uh, they're very cool. First one is on gratitude. I'll be doing another one soon on safety and then I'll be kind of building out from there. There'll be some that are a bit more abstract, things like Zen mind, things like, um, you know, the rainbow light, the rainbow body, that kind of stuff. So if any of that is of interest to you too, that will also be available immediately in the members library. Uh, and I just want to kind of share all this with you because I care because I want to keep it real with you and uh, because this is a powerful time. So I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. Please take care of yourselves. And, um, you know, if you liked any of this, if any of this is of interest to you, you can follow the link below, go to my website, sign up, become a member. I'd be honored to have you. And uh, not only that, um, you know, if you have some sort of practice, again, that works for you, that you like, that... Um, is reliable, that gives you the kind of internal power and the internal strength to meet the challenges of life, let me know what it is down below. Maybe we can have a discussion about it. Uh, and if you don't and you would like to, let me know as well what it is that you need because I'm making content for you. All right, much love, be well, be safe. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.